Welcome back. Let's take a look at encapsulation or attribute control. One of the features, well loved, of object oriented programming languages is that they support encapsulation. And what that means is that you can set up attributes for your objects that cannot be changed from outside the class definition. Let's take a look. Here in att.py, we have a namespace class. It has a magic initializer that sets one attribute inside the object being constructed, and it has a magic string that returns the string version of the dictionary. Okay, so we're making George, who is a namespace, and here in our main, outside our class definition, we are saying that George.age is 44 and George.job is coder. That is breaking encapsulation, considered a good thing usually. Here we're making a dinner namespace. We're giving it a main dish and it's a pie for dessert an attribute of 101 is a string. We'll print George and we'll print dinner. Here's George. Everything as expected. We print our dinner and whoa, our attribute is still 10. We set it to the string 101. What happened? Terrible bug. Do you see it? Back here, we misspelled attribute. So we have another attribute in dinner that's attribute. Here it is. Well, that's a terrible bug. Terrible to find because it's a misspelling. The good reason to like a compile language, it doesn't let you misspell. In this case, it is definitely a flaw that from outside the class, we can control the attribute. Here we have at two. There are various schemes for supporting encapsulation in Python. By default, everything's wide open. But of the schemes, my favorite is to implement the magic get getAtter and the magic set setAtter. Let's look at those. We have a secret class. And here I am making a secret class level attribute, allowed attributes, which is a tuple that contains the string members and the string purpose. Let's go now and look at main. So we have an idea where we're going and what we have. Here we're instantiating a secret club. And the secret is passed in at instantiation, sneak. We're going to try to report it the club.secret, and we'll see that the output is, it's a secret. We ended that with just some space, and we're going to then ask, is secret snake? So we can ask if we know the secret, and that's common. So we'll find out that, yeah, the secret is snake. Next, we're going to try to report an attribute that doesn't exist. Here's an X. We get an attribute error, and that looks just right. We're going to ask for our club members, and we see that there is no attribute named members. Now we're going to put in a club members equals seven, and now we see that we have done that, and it is reportable. When I try to change the secret to lizard, I'm told that I cannot. When I try to set a club.x, where we were told before it doesn't exist, we'll see that it is not an attribute for class secret. So we couldn't do it. Here I'm doing a dir of club. So that's everything in that object. And we see that we have allowed attributes as the single underscore name of the class and then the attributes name in the dictionary. We have a secret. We have a magic get adder and a magic set adder and there's our members. We never put in the purpose. Looking at the definition, we see our magic init 
the secret comes in here, and we're going to put it straight into the dictionary in its mangled pseudo-private form. We cannot assign it directly into ourself. Whenever we put something directly into the object, the magic set adder gets called. Here's our is secret, and you can see that I can just put in the unmangled form of the secret attribute for reference, and I return whether or not their guess is correct. Now then, we have a get adder and a set adder. Here we're looking at the magic get adder so that we can take control of, of what happens when an attribute is asked for on reference and it does not exist. If it exists, it is just reported. However, if they ask for secret, we imagine they want to know the secret, and we say, no, it's a secret. We're going to return the string a secret. Otherwise, anything else that comes in will say that it doesn't exist. I'm copying exactly what would happen if we didn't have a magic get adder. The magic get adder is only called if the attribute name is not in the dictionary. The magic set adder is always called when code tries to set that attribute. Whether it's inside the class or outside the class, when you set it, this happens. This set adder, we give it a attribute name and a value. This attribute name is a string, and if it is secret, then we'll say you can't do that. And we'll raise an attribute error. If it is not in our allowed attributes, then we raise an attribute error. Otherwise, it is in our allowed attributes, and we will put it in our dictionary directly. If you try to do that with the set adder or with the equals, you're going to go around into the magic set adder again, and you'll be in a loop forever, and you'll fix it immediately because you'll be able to figure it out. Okay, that's it for encapsulation in Python, although it is not the only way to do it. If you have a technique from another language, you might look for it in this language as well if you prefer it. Okay, you're on for an exercise. I'll see you when you